This was a pretty big event that happened. A guild recently ended up actually defeating Kel'Thuzad on Hardcore. We're going to watch a couple of the fights and just see kind of how this happened. There was no fifth horseman. They actually beat the game. So this is Saffron here. Saffron is one of the biggest cocks in the game. I would say it is the hardest boss in Max, all things considered. Especially for damage outtake. Or sorry, intake. So let's go ahead and let's watch it happen. Z Triplex should be doing one and two synergy three and four. Grim will find Wait. Who? Be more uh, chop. Well, do, do your oh my god! I taught Z Triplex how to ninja loot ten years ago, and I remember he graduated high school, and I remember he went to the Marines and he came back. I, I swear to God. No way. Oh my God. For groups for. Yes, trade right. trail for chops. So Z Triplex should be doing one and two synergy three and four. Grimmel five six. Puberty seven eight. Because hype, you have some other stuff, right? Why is there a warlock in group two? Oh my God. Someone yeah, juju Rippy. What's wrong with that? I need to. I need to be online. Mods on Bub. Let's go. We already popped shit. Um, I'm gonna keep you in the first group. Um, okay, I don't even know what to say. Band, okay? Yeah. I have Bonzo. I don't need you dying. Took yeah. you on a trip. Yeah, I was trying to think. You... Was it, must have been a Cataclysm? Bonzo this is Pandaria? Here's the question. We Let's locked go. up for a wreck in 10 minutes? Like, guys, this is so long ago. Hey, since someone trade kits at more green pots. Open trade, brother. I already showed you. Uh, okay. I'm not doing for a boss fight. Are people still offline? Log off. Okay, okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. Like, you guys should not be deafening during this prog shit. Just take your headphones off. Should not be deafening during prog shit. Yeah, true. Who doesn't have a Titan? You want us to re magic resist pop because it's going to fall off in 45. Sure. Re pop it. Jesus, bro. Look at all these consumes and everything. He's got fire, like uh, frost runes. Look at this. Oh my god. They are stacked. Forty-five minutes. Oh, that's fine. Your GFPP should be first frost phase, which is forty-five seconds into the fight. It's fine. Okay. We're not waiting for wreck. No, it's okay. We can wreck KT. Right, we're just gonna lose momentum. There it is. It's not gonna make or break. This is our full timer. This will give people GFPP. Relay. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. 20 wait. second pull timer. Holy shit. Everyone has a health stone. Okay, priests in two through, oh se two through eight are marked, and wind force is marked. Where's wind we force go in, in the together. Swapping him. He's group one now. Oh. Did you tell that macro okay. on? Okay, lay him. Also have it on your bar. Good walk. Okay, all the way through. Let's go. Okay, respect the, respect the pull up. Don't. Yeah, one, through four, one through four left, five yeah. through eight Pretty right. Low. One through four left, okay. five through eight right. Get to your sides. No blood rage, nothing. No so blood we, rage. So we do have Smart. essentially every D cursor on the same side. That way nobody okay, gets right. auto-attacked. Okay, okay. uh, group seven, four and eight will swap. Eight. And okay. look at... Seven 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 seven, 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 seven. Seven, seven, seven. Look at all these buffs, man. It's actually insane whenever you look at how much prep goes into raiding in Classic WoW. It is nuts. Move to me. Seven swap Seven now. To me. Oh, he was getting parried Seven a little swap bit there. Now. I need wave over here, please. Pirate. Now, wave. obviously, nobody's going to be side. taking damage here until all of their uh, their potions wear off, Here's and then they're going to start needing to get a lot of heals. Pop your talents, guys. We're going to need a lot of heals. And so, like, look at dude, look at that nice. health management. Nice. Nobody's even going under like eighty percent health. It's actually insane how good they are at this. Melee. Prayer spam. Okay. Melee, careful. Look at that. Nobody oh, is losing any fucking health. 
Yeah, I will. Those are all on one side. Is this hardcore? Yeah, this is the world first hardcore Nax. Okay, Air go face. towards the throne. Towards the throne. Towards the throne. Should frost pot now. Should frost pot now. Stay relatively. So they're using frost the pot because obviously whenever it hits you with the uh, with the uh, the attack, yeah, it does a lot of damage. Get, get people are spreading people. out. Group, group three. Food. That's I'm surprised three. it didn't hit multiple people there. Four. One more. There's one more. There it is. It's got it. They got it. They got it. Hide now. Hide now. Hide now. Hide now. Hide now. Press escape. Press escape. You can auto attack the, the boss, boss through this and it will break Good. your uh, line of, front, of sight of and you'll get hit. Get out of the fucking front. Watch for the Picture blizzards. Tops, Look at that movement. Hyperborean. Everybody's doing what they need to do. Decurse. You see that decurse? This guy got a curse on him and then a mage took the curse off of him. Isn't that crazy? I have no more that doesn't happen in Classic oh, WoW. Holy shit. Can you believe that? Getting there in a perfect line? Yes. One phase. Yes, probably can. Let's go. Ten percent. So saffron, once on it reaches low health, it doesn't go back up. Yeah, I think it's ten percent, fifteen percent or so. Do you need, uh, so if they can them. push him to that percentage, they skip the air phase because this right here is literally just a target so dummy, and that's it. Remember, just fire the marbles. Look at the weak aura. Watch the four horsemen fight. I will. Train. Get your towels ready. Okay, they're doing really, really well. And they are going to be able to push it. Tell I'm pretty sure they'll push faster, it. Faster, faster. We might have to get this. Uh, no, I think they're, they're, they're going to miss it. They're going to miss it. We're going we're gonna to get this phase. Yeah, they're going to miss it. Frostpot now if you can. Top off, top off the raid, top off the raid. We're getting it. Nobody has towards died. Throne, towards throne, towards throne. Not towards a throne. single person has died. Frostpot now if you need. Spread out more, guys. Spread out. Top off people that are low now. That's one. And we have to wait for four here. Two. Don't be so stacked, guys. Spread out a little more. Pre shield the people that are in, in There's blocks. There's a frost escape, escape. It's escape. Buns, buns, get your group. Good. I'm tapped on distilleds. Okay. Group two needs help. It's, a... it's fine. Then open trade with me. Okay. Let's go. They open trade. No, but the I got, got him it. too. We're good. I'll get next marble. Max range melee. Still feeder. Oh, Frost marble. If you haven't. So, uh, you might not know what that is. So, the bag of marbles is actually a specific item that you're able to get from a quest in Elwyn Forest. And it decreases your enemy's hit chance by about 10%, I believe. So, it's used, and you can it's a bag of marbles. You get it at level, like, 10 or something like that. Goldshire, yes. You get it at level 10. Is it towards 25? Holy shit! Holy fuck! 25%! It's a level 6 quest. And so I didn't, I thought it was only 10. Anyway, 25% is even more the case. Uh, and they were rotating the bags of marbles that you get from a level 6 quest on Patchwork, and they are now using it on Saffron in Naxxramas 25, man. And you know what? I remember the reason I know that is because this is going to sound fucking stupid. But we used it on Brutalis in Sunwell, pre-nerf back in Burning Crusade. Yes. Did I say 25 men? Sorry, I've been playing. I was playing Wrath last time, so yeah. Uh, next, 40 men. Excuse me. Yes. Brutalis is a fucking monster. He was disgusting. Okay, here we go. Stop the raid. Go straight away again. Finish this. Let's go. Uh, you can just boon. You can just boon. Everyone should have boon. I got my marbles. Let's go. Slayer's Crest. Holy fuck. Hell yeah. Oh okay, man. Go towards this. Well. And the call is to boon, correct? You can boon, yeah. There's no reason not to. I am out of boons. I need yeah, me too. Uh, well, that's one spare boon. Holy shit, okay, man. Puberty has to leave. What a clean kill. I think that's probably the cleanest Saffron kill I've ever seen. That was so well done. That was really fucking impressive, man. Good for them. Now, we also have... You remember the last time we were here, right? There were five of them last time.
Okay. So. Do we check them? Uh. No, no, no. I'm checking the eye right here. Do not. Why do I hear a fire? Right okay. Uh, unboon. Unboon everything with wind force. Just one shot. One shot only. Okay. Please. I don't think he's shooting it. So what I think they're probably gonna do is they're probably gonna try to burn down Thane, have a tank swap on Rivendare, have everybody run over to Rivendare, and then half and half Blamo and Zeliac. That's what I think they'll do. That's the smartest Sorry, thing to do. Yeah, they are That is the correct It's the safest X. option. Yep. I want to remind everybody, in case anybody forgot, the classic World of Warcraft is the greatest MMO that's ever been made. Okay. Um, Let me make sure you're in the room. It's just how it is. Cool. You pop a frost button. Yeah, that's, just, that, that's all there is to it. All right. Full timer is going up. Can you count it down? He's got, yes, I can. He's got a lot of health. Second shadow tanking? Pot? You should have already been... You oh, they're using shadow resistance potions because the auras around each of these monsters, uh, the, the horseman, does shadow damage. You need... Are you... You need a CD, Max Tab. No, there's no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Pulling in ten. You guys can inch up a little bit more. We pulled early. Ooh, that's kind of a problematic pull. Usually, you're supposed to have people in a different position here. Now, this shouldn't really be a big deal, but this isn't a great situation. It's it's not, it's actually not a big deal. You've got about thirty seconds or so. Which sounds like a long time, but in classic WoW, things take longer. You've got about like let's say fifteen to thirty seconds, probably about probably about more like fifteen, closer, to re to get this back under control. Shoot skull, shoot skull. There it is. Dodge on Zion. See, look at that, bro. This guy, fix, literal fucking god. This dude shot Thane Korthos to pull aggro on him with arcane shot which turned him around and he moved away, he's right there now, to pull him over to the tank that he knew because they play together that the tank would taunt. If the tank didn't taunt, to be honest, Thane doesn't have a secondary attack the same way as uh, uh, Mograin does. Mograin does have a secondary attack that deals a holy damage. Thane, I don't believe does, so it probably wouldn't have one-shot fix, but a crushing blow might have. Especially if it was a thrash attack, considering that the boss hadn't had been in combat and hadn't meleeed for a while. The taunt resist? It doesn't matter if there's a taunt resist. There's multiple other warriors that would be able to taunt as well. Any warrior can take a hit from them. They actually don't do... Like, Four Horsemen is a numerically extremely easy fight. It is just an extremely hard... It's extremely difficult in terms of logistics. Keep up. Okay, you can see here. Oh, Ampy's got it right here. Mike, you look at like I mean he's hitting for a thousand, right? It's not that much damage. I think Suri's DC'd. Okay. You can see they have the positioning That's here. Mark the reason why is because as soon as one of these uh horsemen die, this is a difference between 25-man Nax and 40-man Nax, or like Wrath Nax and, and, and uh, Original Nax, is that in Original Nax, the horsemen actually leave ghosts behind after they die that will continue applying the debuff. One. Mark one. Pop CDs, pop CDs. There it is. You see he's already at half. Yeah, now they also go, shield go. wall whenever they get lower health. This isn't really a big deal, but it just exists. Mark two. That's Mark 2, healer's move. Mark 5 and 6 are the ones where it's problematic. You can see, obviously, it's not a big deal. And shield wall is about to go away here. I'm not even getting hit. It's no rain. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's gone. Mark 3, healer's move. And now he's going to die really fast. Thane's dying. Even 4 is not a big deal. We're going deal. middle first. Go middle first. Wait. Ranged. I got it. Okay, on my way. Mark 1. That's Mark 1. So now they're having everybody again attack Mograine. The reason why they had them go at an angle here is because this is the hypotenuse from that is closest, farthest away 
from having Thane. That way they wouldn't have anybody accidentally incur a fourth debuff. Because if somebody accidentally occurred, incurred a fourth debuff, that would reduce their damage or their health, and it could also clear a shadow resistance potion that is a failsafe for a later part in the fight. That's why they oh, went in one mailing, direction and mailing. then that way. Combusting here. How many stacks do you have? Taunted. Course? And this is, and Marked. so you see the taunt right there. So obviously, Ampy did this taunt. Wind Force, Wind Force here was tanking the whole time. And you can see Wind Force has five stacks. Again, he's totally fine. Uh, this debuff right here that Ampy and Wind Force both have does uh, holy damage over time. So obviously, it's not a big deal because they have pretty good gear. And, you know, this, this is a good team with world buffs. But Wind Force is going to run out and clear those debuffs. And he's probably also going to offer relief to other tanks after, uh, after his health is recovered. Two. Five. Okay, I'm, moving up. okay I'm going Zealik at three. It would be Reshi. Warriors wreck now. Up. I can call me in the relief now or somewhere. I know, I'm, I'm gonna go, no, I'm gonna do Z Lake. Mark go three, that's Mark three. There it is. Gordon, watch your feet here. Yeah, yeah, Might have to take it to that. There you go. You see last stand going off. This is the only point in time where he can die. Mograine has the highest damage to tank outside of Blamo, but the Blamo tank damage is primarily due to the tanks not knowing what the fuck they're doing because they're standing in the uh the the, the void zone. Well, I thought that's how I said it because it's one, French. Sorry. One. Is one. that not how you say it? 2 seconds. X is dead. It's two horses. No million Zillion. Got it. Yeah, I was about to say I have huge threat on Blumen. So the reason why you have no melee on Zeliac is that remember that chain lightning thing that happened in uh in in AQ20 and like it killed all those people? Well, Zeliac has the exact same mechanic except for obviously it does even more damage. So it can kill people even faster. So you're going to have obviously the range here. They're going to be moving in and fighting Zeliac while all the melee rotate in and kill Blumen. Just going to mark 2. Let's mark 2. Let's mark 2. Okay, go Karak. Wind Force, I'll need a relief. I'm at three sacks by the time that taunt. Oh, come on. And this is the safe spot, by the way. And people did this even in original Nax back in the day. It's like what my guild did. I was not in the guild, okay, at the time. Uh, but they told me a lot about it, and I saw their, their kill videos. And um, this was the place that even back in the day you would stand to avoid the debuffs from all the different other locations. I'm good on Blamo. Mark three, coming in. Hicks, you I'm cannot take another mark. mark. Get the fuck out. So you can see Hicks, the reason why he said that is Hicks took five stacks. And Hicks did that because he was trying to heal. And now, obviously, since everybody else is there, it won't be a problem. Hackerai, get the fuck out. Can someone say blow me off? Okay. Chef. Going, going wide. You're good, there it is. Sure, you're good. Yo, top off very friend. And you can see, obviously, the tank that was doing Blamo, very smart. Because he started tanking in this very corner because that way he could maximize the real estate because Blamo puts the uh, the void zone underneath an aggro target underneath a player. So because obviously the tank is like one of the only people that are in range, she's going to be putting it under him. And so it minimizes the amount of space that's wasted whenever we actually need to kill her or they actually need to kill her, I mean to say. Good. I, ne I actually never did this back in the day. Yeah, this is actually smart. I, ne I never needed to do this. So it's actually really interesting to see people that are like that have like planned this out and like min max this to like an insane degree. Leave Blumo. It's marked one. Mark one. Do you mean do you mean relieve wind force? And again, no. you can see the shield wall that they all shield wall whenever they get lower health. I think that the reason why they shield wall is because Blizzard didn't want people to AoE them down. I get a heal on Blumo. I need a heal. Move out. Move out if you move out if you're low. Move out. What, bro? Look at this guy. Look at look at the pet awareness on this guy right here. This K super guy. Give me, me a relief wind force. Can I get a heal on Blamo? You can move. see the void zone. Move out. Move out if you. And the pet. Move out if you're low. Move out if you're low. The guy I'm actually Blamo. moves his bird out. out. He actually moves his bird out. There you go. Surrey offline. Yeah, not good for him. Or or from, 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 from. Okay. Yeah, this Smart guy's doing two. work. 
Jordan, you have him? Yeah. He's dialed in. And they only shield wall one Mark time during the fight. Tank transition. So oh, they can kill sorry, Blumeau. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ampy can probably no, finish tanking this. Yeah. It looks like they're going to be good. overly safe. Uh, and not have anything bad happen. Oh, I guess, wait, do they shield all twice? Wait, really? What the fuck? I've never yeah, seen that. Mark one. Dude, what do they do? What the stack fuck? mid on Blumeau. Mark mid. Move Blumeau away. I thought they only shield wall about uh, a 20%. Yep. 50 and 20? Really? I thought it was only 20. You can drag it all the way. I'll go to Blumeau. Oh, shit. Two people died. Oh, my God. Mark mid. Move Blumeau away. Move Blumeau oh, away, Mark. You can drag it to the wall. Good. Then he shouldn't so be getting hit, but... Giz We're getting hit by there. the Mograine Mark. Drag it all the way. I'll go to the low. You guys just... are in the wrong spot. Dude. I see. You can see what happened, right? So they had the debuff. I think this is the debuff from, um... What do you call it? From Mograin. So this is the Mograine debuff, and J-Law and Life yep. moved back too much, and they backpedaled into the position that they were in range of, again, the ghost, what I was talking about, the ghost of High Lord Mograine, who still applies the debuffs. So because they moved back too much, they moved into his range, and because their stacks hadn't reset, the fifth stack, because they have, both have four, it killed both of them. Because, because they were too far back. Watch. See, look how look how close he is. You see that? He's like right there. He's dead. You guys are in the wrong spot. Dude. Yeah, he should have not been there. Mark two. Come to yeah, come in middle. Come middle. Mogre Mark is still hitting people. Guys, go to the fucking safe spot. It's in the middle. Don't go back. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's pretty easy, right? That you just don't stand there? I'm coming. That's the way it goes. I'm coming for the I need taunt. I, so you can see, obviously, like, Ampy's yeah. going over there, yeah. taunting off. He's gotta win first or no? And he had, he had to go by himself. This, by the way, will probably take a little bit of time because of how uh, finicky the Zeliac uh, Chain Lightning is. Uh, you can't stand there, bro. I'm totally I'm fine. fine. You forget mark things in the moment? Two. Yeah, you two. do. Next is three. It's Mark. I know oh, this is Mark one. This is Mark one. Yeah, I don't. Three stacks in Blumeau. Does anyone need relief on Zeliac? Coming to Blumeau. This is Mark two. I I'll take Zeliac from him when he's done from Ampi, okay? Chef need Chef needs heal on Blumeau. I'm gonna take it. Okay, we're transitioning in. One more Mark. This is a tank transition. Yeah, so you can see obviously, three. and this fight, by the way, this fight can go on as long as you want it to. Like, I, I don't even know if it has an enrage timer. It's like 20 minutes or something like that. Uh, Jay Wall is the biggest pumper. Spot, was in all the raids okay. since Rag? Tom, yeah, I know. I like, I mean, I remember Jay Wall from, uh, yep. like, Coming original right classic. Arc 1? Should I really rush yeah. yeah. And yeah. then there's the first shield wall right there. Running through purple with your tank. will chain us. Yeah, we're just letting the mages do this in casters. I'm coming in for it. Smart 2. Kill the mages. Alright, someone for And you can see what they might be doing here is they might be trying a buddy strategy. To like reduce the chances of having like a massive, like massive chain. They might have two people stacking on each other to take uh, predictable, manageable damage instead of potentially unpredictable, unmanageable damage. Leaving. Three of them together. That's very interesting. I I, that, I think that's a risk, but uh, I'm sure they did the math and they think it's fine. We can go into Sunners to the right. These people are not in the fucking safe zone, man. Yeah, he should have done that. Like, if you look right here. Coming to the wall. Okay, Mage is Like, leave. this guy, like, three. he should not be moving that way. Now, it doesn't probably matter that he's moving this way because at this point, his debuffs from Thane. Or sorry, from uh, Mograin are gone. So if he gets one stack, it doesn't make a difference. But it definitely isn't the ideal movement. Just trying not to chain the raid. Yeah, actually, I, I really actually don't think that's a problem. Because, like, let's say he gets one stack from this. Who cares? All the stacks are independent. I'm not in the fucking safe zone, man. Hunters so, go to the right. Follow PA. Puberty, you need to eat this. Uh, never mind. Never mind, you're fine. 
Mark one. Who's next tank? Mark one. Safer not to any group. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it. like actually a looking at it more. On the right yeah. if you want. It's about to... Yeah, yeah, good. Need Zilliac relief. I have yeah. what? Two stacks. Mark yeah, he's two. chilling. Okay. I'm getting Who's next. next I'm getting next. Okay. You still... Yours is dropping soon, yeah? You got yeah. 10 Archery. seconds. You have 10 seconds. Um, I see. Okay. It'll drop. Need... That was a pretty big risk to go in there with the debuff. Yeah, your left. Okay, that's mark one. Mages can't go in in 10 seconds. Hunters need to get out in 10 seconds. Shield walls down. Smart you're, two. You're gonna get up, man. Smart two. Smart. He might need one more tank swap, but really this prompt. depends. Yeah, I need one. Mark three. Let's tank, sh tank swap. Don't Give run to it. purple. Do not run oh, to purple. I will, I will come. I am coming. Okay. Should be able to finish here. Heal. Pop CDs here. I need to get a relief. I'm taunting now. Where the now. fuck it's is? Right okay. Cool. Right. I was we're trying to. We're chilling. We're chilling. You had four marks, man. You get to seven. You have Yo, I'm chilling, man. Three. We're good. There it is. They killed it. Holy shit. There's some of you guys with the comms in this fight, man. You need to shut the hell up, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like if, you can't, if you needed a heal, you should have left. Yeah. Yep. Stop yep. fucking screaming some <laughs> shit. You like, literally made a bunch of people freak out and die because you're just being dumb. Yeah. You have Yo. HP, you have three marks, just leave. Like, it's not that yeah. fucking hard. Yeah. Hey, you have double to... really not. We got you. Yeah, what? Do you have people to come in for those two? Yeah. Mmm. Oh I mean, shit, not... those legs. Dude, those legs are fucking disgusting. Okay, we left. Should we board and log out? Look how good those are. It's insane. What made out. like people die there is we tried warrior to legs? Yeah, they're actually even the better they, than the leg no, legs of Carnage. No, nobody should have been that far ever. It's, 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 we, they're can, fucking can insane. Can we, can we log out first? Frostpot sure. and log out. You can, frostpot, you can frostpot and log out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move into KT. Alright. So this is it. It all comes down to Kel'Thuzad. The final boss. In Classic WoW. Not watching Saf? I already did. I watched it. Sorry, uh, I, I, I didn't know that they did. I thought they did Four Horsemen another day, to be honest. So I didn't think it was in this VOD. So I watched Saffron, then I watched uh, Four Horsemen. Kind of awkward, but yeah. We should boon your stuff. Okay. For work, for work. Um, Reshi and Magstab are just staying out. If there's a death, okay. you can take that spot. I'll swap you. Yep. Um. Two rates, watch them mark. Up. Yeah, they should do Bob cut, make sure here. Oh, you're right. Oh. You can see everybody logging in. And right here. Where is this? I'm gonna just skip Fine. ahead. Okay. Garage. People are logging oh, off, just keep their debuffs. Or their buffs. We need, uh, we need our buffs too. Now, Kel'Thuzad, in my opinion, isn't really a hard fight. I think that Kel'Thuzad is one of the fights, however, that something can go wrong really, really fast. Instagram it's RNG, log. yeah. I shadowed the entire... There's <laughs> two massive levels of RNG that happen on Kel'Thuzad. The first level of RNG is getting ice-tombed, and the second level of RNG is who gets mind-controlled. Everything uh... else is pretty much controllable. Shackle, do we shackle as soon as they come out? Or... Yes. Okay, perfect. So we'll shackle the first three. Why is my HP so low? Depending on portal. Remember, we'll we all have it. to move to the center, or the fucking ship blows us up. I don't think he has kings. Does he not have kings? We unban. No, he does have kings. The yes. fuck? Yeah. Oh, it's because I don't have unban. We should fully buff first, right? Yeah. Send right buffs. Everybody should be fully buffed. Oh, buff he does. Yeah, he does have ZG. Yeah, it's ZG, he doesn't have. AI. Don't go up there yet, are you? Yeah, like, just let, let us buff back here. Bro. I hate people like that. I actually fucking hate them so much. Like that they have to get. Oh, I'm gonna get up really close. Like, oh, why do you fucking get that close? Why you? Why are you even thinking about that? Why are you fucking piece of shit? Why would you do that? Like it just makes me so mad. Just stay with the fucking group. Don't get too close to the boss. 
We don't, we don't need anybody going to Anybody ever does that in my raids, I kick them out. I mean, if someone, if someone DC's it's going to be like here. In yeah. the cubby. Everybody move forward. Just at least right here, please. Away. At least I... right here. Get out of this. the cubby. Yeah. Being in the cubby is bad. Like, you don't, you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, you don't want to. Don't want to sit there. Alright. It's been fun, boys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. I, I need to unboon still. Make sure you're uh -huh. unboon. Make sure you're unboon. The boon for anybody, again, who's uh, unfamiliar with Classic WoW is uh, basically it allows you to hold all of your most powerful buffs. It's like a, a pause button on your most powerful buffs. Guys, between phase one and phase two, just make sure... Oh, no, Ampy got the Slayer's so Crest. We don't have many casters in just... here, and if we have a bunch of the mobs before we transition, we need to kill those, because the melee aren't going to be killing them. Yep. He's got some pretty good gear. Like three sometimes. Priest will help with uh, yep. Banshees. I myself. Just double checking. We're group two right now on the ship. He ninja that shit? Yeah. Oh, I, this, I mean, this honestly, is, this is it's plan. not really a big Last deal. Chance pop a chop. Last chance to pop a chop. Pop a chop, boys. They're talking about Dirge's kick and Chimerok chops, which is a special recipe that's only available after you complete the Scepter of the Shifting Sands quest line that will give you the highest stamina food in the entire game. Arcane and group one, please. And Funds are mixed really in here. Got it already. You're good. Clear. Either, either and it bad. requires Chimerok meat Clear. that's only Funds available and obtainable from a special right island in Feralas that has sure elite diamond, level right? 60 so Chimeras that you have to farm. And the Chimeras are, yeah, they're elites. are not that hard to kill, but yeah. Make sure you're next to your groups, please. No pets here. No pets, no pets. You want me to go on Abbas? Both of us will. I'm gonna cover this side, okay? See where Some I am? Some good meat, yes it is. You're gonna cover the other side. It gives a huge amount of stamina. It's better than any Welcome other food in the game. Stun on a -bomb. It is the food. Yep. Now there's gonna be three different types of uh, mobs that they're gonna have to fight here. First, you have the soldiers of the frozen waste. Melee, these are the smaller ones, on those the right there. Early. Let them get Very easy to kill. But no, melee the cannot hit them here. because yeah, they will the do an AOE strong. for shadow damage so on, picture, on everybody yeah, else if they get hit. I think it is, right? and, G1 is and you can wait, see wait, also wait, wait, all the pets correct. are on passive, so correct. nothing else is accidentally aggroed. No chain lightnings. The abominations do a debuff on tanks that reduces their healing taken. It's a mortal strike. So yeah, they need to be stunned and killed very quickly so they don't insta-give a tank. Yeah, we can wand into the truth is that this first phase is very easy. This is wands. This is a very easy phase. Wonders. There's like Skelly. almost nothing that can go wrong. Whenever something does go wrong, there are two okay. ways that this something can go wrong. Number week. one back. Yeah, let it get is somebody multi-shots or gets Skelly's too close to like this whole bombing. group of yeah. mobs. And then they yeah, aggro the entire well. group. Casters out. And like Don't even fall. that, if that happened to this group, they could handle it. It wouldn't be a problem. It would fuck them up, but they could recover from it. Uh, because they know what they're doing. Like multi-shot, uh, you know, hunter, pet assist, stuff like that. Skull for casters. And then obviously, Max like, the range. soul weavers can get too close, no and they do a massive AoE frontal cone Surrey. that does Surrey huge now. damage Surrey and now. also Good. does a knockback. The meta is that so melee kill abominations, casters kill soul weavers, yeah, and high. the soldiers of the frozen waste. The That's the meta of this, uh, uh, of this, can you this part. Me, I've already used it. I can, I can on 30. Me? Okay. The chill the chill won't break CC yet, or it, it will. I'll click it off. Yeah, this... Mally needs a juju chill. Yeah, I'll get Mally. Okay, I got your XL. This is Tuki, 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 Tuki. Now I got Mally. Really shouldn't even be burning many hairs priest except for smiting, so I'm not sure why he took Good off job. Dragon Breath Chili. Maybe so. he's concerned that the AoE from Skull Dragon from Breath Chili's Masters. breath could potentially aggro the other mobs the right back side. there. Is, it's hard to say. Go guys, go guys. This this is, uh, yeah, you see there's a, um, a hammer of justice on every single abomination. So the abominations never actually cast anything. Skull for casters. It breaks CC in phase two. A -bomb. Oh, this that makes a lot of sense. Hicks, yeah. Hicks done, Hicks done. Dragon Let Breath Chili us. is another consumable that you can eat. It, does, it gives you a chance to randomly do 50 damage to enemies in front of you. 
And of course, if you're doing damage randomly, you could break the aggro on something. Or break CC on something, I mean. Next stun is going to be Suri. You're going to take them in the end. Caster skull. Pumping. Yeah. So you see they have like four paladins, so each time one of these guys comes out, they stun it, and then everybody kills it before it even casts anything. In the back. Can be ten yards and you even see like that rogue follows up with a kidney shot to make sure it stays stunned. Hodge and kidney don't DR each other? I, I, I thought they did too. Okay. There's an A-bomb. This is uh, two key. The only hard part of phase yeah, one is towards the very oh, end of phase two one, skeletons. you will have to deal with, usually if you don't have like a good a good group, a minute, two soul weavers at the same time, ranged, while the ranged bumps. also have to group up, or sorry, shooter. spread out. Because Kel'Thuzad right? also, as then. soon as he says, um, We've got Skelly's coming in a bit Kel'Thuzad says yeah, something like, uh, you know, Oh, Hicks not in your group, Frost. Uh, some sort of like right. fucking. He Foster. does a voice line. I forgot even what, it was, what he says. And it despawns all the other mobs, Next and that's whenever the group two. can spread out. Next stun is Surrey, I think. Mix. Hicks. Okay. This is going to be dark runing, gemming, potting, everything. Guys, careful, Skellies. Careful. Don't multi shot. Don't the reason not. why they want a dark rune now is so they can maintain high mana, uh, because there's like never a chance anybody's going to take damage. Uh, uh, what are the biggest threats in phase two? Everything. Just get the right. So like the phase one to two transition can be problematic because of dealing with the soul weavers. This one is Surrey. Surrey. Because uh, range need to be spread out in phase two because of something called mana bomb. Mana bomb obviously just destroys the mana of like a caster and it does it AOE around them. Yep. So These all range action. need to be spread yeah, out all the time. Literally a frozen waste making it to the raid. Come on. This is Wachtimus. Oh, two okay. It's okay. Yeah, they, yeah, Skelly, they're kind of careful. fucking up here. Clear comms, please. Help on these Skellies, priests. Yeah, Skellies should not make it that close. This one is uh, Wacht or Hicks. Hicks on this one. Well, Hicks is the paladin for stunning it. Soul weavers, please. One. One by this the door. This is the last Skull. one I'm thinking of. The last wave is always going to be fast. Yeah, I'll grab the last one. I'll grab the last one. I, I this, got one this one is Hicks, okay? I got this one, yeah. Wind Force is I think it says breathe your dying breath or something like that. Kel'Thuzad says that, and then he despawns everything. Nuke this, nuke get this, away. Guys, nuke this, get guys. out of the middle. So you have like get one, out. you see what I'm saying, right? About how there's like, as soon as he says that, there's still a Soul Weaver. So it makes it hard for range to go to their designated locations and then kill the Soul Weaver. Out of the, middle. Out of the middle, get, get to your the spots. Get away from the bus. Get away from the bus. Yeah, th Still this is very careful. awkward. Watch away, watch. Also, melee need to be in different piles for an ability called Ice Tomb. Ice Tomb does, I think, 26% of your total health every second for four seconds or every half second. So it's like the biggest healing check in the game, basically, because the healers have to make sure nobody dies from it. And it stuns you. So like if and you can chain it. So like one person who's in the wrong spot, if it goes on them, they can hit two other piles of people. Oh, it's, it's, it's really bad. Like that's what kills people all the time. You have Kel'Thuzad there. Also, Kel'Thuzad does huge frost bolts that need to be interrupted. Now they have so many uh, melee, it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah. Get to the back, please. Let the healers take the middle. And you can see they're they're making a group of four here. So each person, usually we used to do three. I didn't even know you could do four. But um, I've never seen somebody do this before, but I guess that makes sense. Uh, and so this is to minimize raid damage. Where I'm at. Which camp should back I go on? He also does AoE back Frostbolt, which does back. a lot of damage. Ampy didn't take damage from it because okay. he has Frost Resistance Potion here. Burn, you have victory now. Burn your Fears no. Warriors. Fears now. Send it. So the reason why they're asking everybody to use their Fears is so whenever Kel'Thuzad does the Mind Control, that the mind control for the warriors that goes on them won't uh it basically causes you to cast random abilities so if warriors use their fear now the mind controlled warrior won't be able to use it and cc the other people in the raid so it's on cooldown yeah Watch your feet. Peter, you should remove your pets you're gonna chain us yeah, no pets frost here pot. frost pot i didn't know pets can be a target of uh that or not don't worry about overpotting and doing stuff. Bolts are gonna come out. It's fine. That's why we have priest. It'll you can see like interrupts are gonna have to go out all the time. Everybody's staying up. 
Just focus on your own. See, look at that. That's my boy right there. See, he was low health. Look, watch. He was low health. It's dead. Get ready. Don't worry about over potting and doing stuff. Bolts are going to come out. His health gets really low here. That's why we have priest. You're ready. He'll come back up if you use it now. See that? Massive. You know what he does? He fucking bandages himself. There it is. Just focus on your own groups, please. Back melee. See Tripex? Oh, he's in chat. Yo, there he is. Yeah, he streams. I think he streamed this whole thing. It might be a threat to easily quite soon. There he is. What's up, man? Group one's next kick. We're good. I had no fucking idea you were doing this. Melee max range a little bit. Make sure uh, you're max Senator, range. You're ranging me. Why? Please go. Threat reset. Threat reset. Threat reset. Threat reset. Stop. Ooh. Ooh, this is bad, bro. So, you saw Ampy was the target. Actually, it might have been somebody here. So he ran forward to try to pick up the boss, right? Because he's one of the tanks. You saw it go on the rogue. Um, and so now he got stunned, and he's going to be taking, again, a percentage of his health here. And this is at the same time as the MC. You can have your main tank just get MC'd. Stun, 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 stun. Keep Ampy up. Okay. okay. Why? Please get over here. Threat reset, reset, threat reset, threat reset. Stun, 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 stun. Keep MP up. Nah, nah, that wasn't his fault. Nah, nah, bro. Like, there is so, like, there's, bro, there were, like, multiple counter spells, multiple interrupts that could have happened. The reason why Ampy died, he died to a fucking, fro uh, to a, an actual, like, direct cast Frostbolt. That shouldn't have happened. That should have never happened. Somebody fucked up there. There should have been a kick. Healers dropped the ball. No, nah, it wouldn't have mattered. He was overkilled by like 5,000 damage. So even if he... He would have had to been lay on hands. Okay. We need to... Slams grab this. Shield wall 19. Turn it around 19. Turn it around. There it Those is. Motherfucking heals, man. Then aim in on me. Move away from Again, me. it was a, it was not the, it, it, like the heals, if the heals had been better, he wouldn't have died. But the truth is that I think that the real fault was on the, uh, was on the DPS. The DPS should have counterspelled that. Or interrupted it or something. It's on 19. I can't see threat. Back up more melee. Can you keep kicking? So they lost six Big people. Oh no, five. When force will get next. Now this fight actually gets easier with less people. I know it might sound weird, but it gets easier to manage because less people are able to take damage. Usually you have the stacks of people die. You have more space, uh, everything like that. Next time you can go in. Do you want me to throw it, We need more money on the circle. I'm on it. Like, like can come in. I need one person to come circle melee. I'm going, I'm going. I'm like not even getting full value of my heals. I mean, people need to be in the other group. So oh. he's moving people around into different groups to keep yeah, all the dead ready. people in one group so you can maintain the party buffs for as many people as possible. Yep. Yeah. And you can see obviously like what he was doing here is he moved the priests in there for prayer of healing. And he was doing that even while he was dead. I'm like not even getting full value of my or, heals. Or sorry, circle people healing. People need to be in the other group. Oh, That's why he moved priest specifically. You intervade, Rippy? Yep. P pop, pop CDs down, maybe. Really. Yeah, send it. Pop CDs, pop CDs. I'm not gonna be able melee to back out. Uh, that was a really bad decision, by the way, for the melee here. They, they, he should not, they should not have moved that way. This is the only guy, I think, who did it right. Uh, however, at 40%, Kalthazad starts summoning adds that have to be tanked, and they just do more and more damage throughout the entire fight. It's like a soft enrage. Okay, slams, 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 slams go left, the reshi guardians. right. Slams left, reshi right. I, I'm gonna pull over 19 here. That's There's fine, one. not a big deal. Shackle, Shackle now. Three seconds. No and cleave, you can nothing. CC some of them, but you can only CC a certain amount. You cannot CC every single one. You have to tank some of them. No cleave, no cleave. Next shackle, next shackle. Two next kick. And pyro, pyro. Star. Good job. No more shackles. No more shackles. Frostpot, frostpot. Don't break the shackle right there. I'm threat serious. drop, threat I'm drop. Oh, this is a very, very frustrating situation. They just had this go off, 
and now everybody is like, what the fuck, right? Good lay. They're... Wall if you can, win for us. Wait, was that a way on hands? Shackle. 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 Don't break the shackle right there. I'm I'm threat drop, threat drop, threat drop, threat drop. Wow. Bro, look at that guy's health. I guess that must have been Turkey here? Good job. No more shackles. No more shackles. Bro, Close look at the, look at Turkey. Because his lay on hands re re reduces all your mana. Don't Bro, Turkey right saved his threat fucking life. Watch. Threat threat Wind threat Force threat. goes down to like 10% health. Turkey, you see, has no mana. Lay on hands him. Mana goes down. Within literally 0.1 second, Wind Force would have died. Actual ridiculous fucking lay on hands. Turkey saved his ass 100%. Good lay. Wall if you can, Wind Force. That is nuts. Get these ads no, under control. His shackles free. His shackles free. Turn on and dead you can shackles. see how this uh, this fight is kind of a shit show. Okay, no more, no more CC. Stop CC. And this oh, is like, C this is the part where like in this fight, like obviously you have to CC mobs, but like, this is the part where like everybody just, this is, you, everybody does their own job and the boss dies. Like you can't think about how chaotic it is. You just keep attacking the boss until it's dead. I see. Under the boss. Just focus boss. Execute phase warriors. I need Honor. my... Mm -hmm. Groups near your priests. Get people topped. Keep going for. Yeah, they're they've got it. By the way. I got the free one. They they got through that last part. They're they're fine. Let's go. Quarter. Finish this. They're totally fine. Get Group people three, top. Get a prayer priest swap. Frostbolt. Good job. That's why uh, I I'd even said it before in two. Good job. Uh, double MC is going to hit both of you, there and it's going to fuck. That's why you need a oh, There are fucking ways right there. Okay, whoever oh, did that, who, 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 whoever did that lay was fucking gone. Yeah, you can pay pal me. <laughs> well, that was me up at the blind room first. God damn. 19 good shit. I mean, oh, true. Okay, like, also, I'm, I I'm say bro, so fucking true. Because also keep in mind that like Turkey probably has improved lay on hands, which increases the total armor that you have by 30%. Improved lay on hands is fucking insane. So, like, not only did it reduce the da did it prevent him from dying, but it made it so he didn't die for the entire rest of the fight because he had 30% increased armor. Fucking I'm so there. sorry, MP. I don't know what happened. Oh, I just didn't get healed. I got tombed. I, I ran uh, through right to turn it, it was around. The, the fucking Frostbolt. He wouldn't have died. He was at 5.4k. The Frost, uh, the Frost Nova thing did 3.4k. He wouldn't have died. It was the, the interrupt didn't happen. It wasn't the healers. And, it was the uh, DPS. Got uh, to him. I lived. Damn you. The ultimate sacrifice. Windforce, you are about to pop the healers there. I mean, that that's the whole thing with like, the double MC that shit happens. So they took 7,400 like, damage, yeah. Can't leave them, right? Oh yeah. man, swapping the groups around mid combat really fucked me because. Uh, you hit for 7k? Like, yeah, that's the Frostbolt. And it was healing a completely different target on my train. Everybody needs That's a lot. Yeah. Jesus. What a fun man. ride. You yeah, congrats, guys. RP Neil. Neil to MP. I mean, Holy shit. Proud of you, boy. Epic fucking ending, boys. Twice in one second, I think. Yeah, I mean, there was some... I don't know what that damage Oh my god. It must have been a Frostbolt. Must have been a Bolt or something. Uh, it, it was a Frostbolt. There was no kick, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, it was insane that lay, but also that you had one 5%. Oh my god. I should have died too. Walk late. Jesus. When I took over threat. I get that yeah, frost bolted to the face. But we got the it, coward. boys. That's all that the matters. Coward took the frost bolt Good to the fucking face. job, guys. Hey. GG. <laughs> oh, yeah, boys. World first, guys. <laughs> Sorry for It is what it is. To die to KT is the ultimate honor. So, thank you for everything. We, 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 nor normally, we take the screenshot on the throne. But... Yeah, they can't get everybody to the throne. Yeah, there he is. He's in chat. Absolute honor to win with these champions. There it is, bro. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. That is nuts. Wow. Dude, I just got banned from world chat. What the fuck? <laughs> let's 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 take a screenshot where the dead people are in the front now. Yeah, but like line up nicely.
I think we just sold Neil, bro. I think. I What's the loot? Let's we, all we, take we, a kneeling on... screenshot. Can we all take a kneel right now for Ampi? 07 for <laughs> Ampi. Concert, Arage, Wave, Bev, Vorpal, J Law. Uh, who else died? Guys, he died with the shrink up from Saffron. Incredible, incredible yeah. raid. All of you guys, well, well done. Well, they beat the I'm game, though. Here watching it. Uh, I'm jealous I couldn't be in there, but guys, you guys fucking held it down. Super proud of all of you. That was really impressive, you guys. We did it. Frontier, number one, Ampi, you're the greatest raid leader of all time. Speech. I cannot believe you died. Holy shit, boys, that was epic. Should have interrupted. Let's get to Iron Forge after this, and let's do a little celebration party. Yep, they should have interrupted. Is that <laughs> yeah, that's tip out. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Tips. Hey, 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 um, oh man! Yeah, that was a uh, that was a fun ride, boys. We uh, yeah. yeah. KT could be a little uh. Oh, a little there's hard. a frostbolt hey, right man, there. Hey man, this is bullshit. My buff didn't get cleansed. This is bullshit. Yeah, no, it. <laughs> it's almost it's almost biblical that Ampy dies on the last. Is that the word Ampy said a few words? Died. I think that Ampy oh was a, literally uh, dies on the bot. I think Y'all know what the best part about this? About yeah, it. Yeah, it Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> nah, it doesn't. It, it's, it's all good. Whatever. You said you that guys... you would say something. You said Speech. that you would say Speech. something, bro. Speech. 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 Shut the fuck Speech. up. You owe us. Dad, give us a Yeah, Yo, you guys owe me. You didn't kick that shit. Yo, good job, boy. True. Yeah, it's, True. Uh, kind of that's okay. Sport. It doesn't matter. This Why not Mitch we Jones? We set out to do this, and we did it. That's fuck all that matters. man. So many people died. Fucking, we, how many deaths did we have? 50 deaths over the last, like, couple weeks? Easily. I'm surprised we um, made it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we fucking did You guys... <laughs> but Ampi, I was the chosen oh one. I was God. meant to die. Uh, <laughs> let him, let him talk. You were supposed to take... I, I should have taked first, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, that'd be, that'd be we perfect. swapped. Hold up, but what dropped? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Hold up, but what dropped? Where's the loot? Where is it? Where's the loot though? Doors can never King's fall, Doomfinger. Ampi died with my pants. I did actually, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I died you with your fall. leggings That's in the, apocalypse. the dagger. You're gonna have oh, to go no. It's still tradable. Wait. Oh. oh. Wait, try Close. <laughs> who took Joe? Take Yo, it. Grimble, Grimble. Uh, 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 you going again? Grimble, I'll be with God. Bro, Mitch. Slayer's crest. Oh my God. It was King's Fall. Bro, we get to it. No, no dagger. The drug is. That was the shortest lived uh, Harbinger of this. That was the shortest Slayer's crest. It didn't even make one boss. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, it did unlucky, not even make. Unlucky. Oh, no. <laughs> but no, that was fucking sick, guys. Good job. Bro, we fucking did it. Um, we, we, expect for the project, at, man. we expect you at 60 and ready to go next week. RIP Chilled Cow. 19 is MVP for the boss. Dude, rip Chilled Cow. He, 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 that is amazing. That is absolutely fucking amazing. I'll link you guys his, uh, his channel. Uh, he's, he's the raid leader as well. The best ending? Yeah, there it is.